Are you suffering from pain on your side of your hip if you're sleeping on your side and you have difficulty lying on that side? Hi, my name is Annie. Welcome back to my channel, Annie Pilates Physical Therapist. This is one of my free six-part video series on how to fix your side of your hip pain utilizing core back immersion. If you're new to my channel, my channel is about Pilates, yoga, physical therapy, health and wellness. So follow along with my free six-part video series to target these muscles to slowly progress and fix your side lying hip pain or if you're suffering from back pain with one pain sided weakness. In this video, we're going to do an ankle weight strengthening program. If you missed my previous video, I recommend you check it out. Do that first and then the elastic band and this is the ankle weight progression, the beginning part of my episode one to fix your side lying hip pain. And be on the lookout on episode two where we're going to progress further utilizing a foam roller, a physio ball, and an elastic band utilizing pilates yoga and physical therapy so let's begin the program now we're gonna lie on your side in side lying position let's start on your good side first i recommend doing both sides but you're doing an extra set of 10 on the bad hip so if my bad hip is my right hip i'll start on that side first lying on my left with my knee slightly bent to 45 degree angle placing one hand in front of me so i won't lean Back. When you lean back, you're not utilizing your glutes, you're utilizing your lumbar spine. So we're going to start with clamshell. So with the clamshell, we're going to start lifting the top knee first, keeping your feet together. Inhale, squeeze your core in as you breathe out, slowly zip it up your core and lower your knee down. Inhale, open, exhale down, warm up your hips first, especially your deep hip external rotators. Seven more, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And after that simple clamshell, now we'll do reverse clamshell where you're going to lift the, the back foot. Now the ankle weight, this is a light ankle weight. This is only two pounds. For absolute beginners, start with one pound. So lift, keeping your knees together, just the foot up. Inhale, exhale down. Nine more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now we'll do parallel clamshell. We're going to lift your top knee and foot at the same time, making sure when you lift your knee and foot up, your foot is not too high or your knee is not too high, making sure they're leveled parallel with the lower knee and foot so they're together they're parallel open as much as you can trying not to twist your spine squeeze your core in as you inhale exhale down breathe in breathe out eight more feel your core you can place your hand on your abdomen for making sure you're mindful on your breath work six five four three two and one. Now you're going to feel some burn now on the side where you have the inflammation. And that's okay. As long as it's not excruciating pain, it's just an achy pain. Now I'm going to extend the top leg, keeping the other knee bent for support. We're going to slowly side leg lift. Place your hand on the mat for support and lift those pointing away. As you slowly lower it down, tip it toes towards you, point towards you, dorsiflex. Exhale down. Nine more, tip it toes first before you lift. Tip it toes away and then dorsiflex point towards you as you exhale down. Eight more. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Now we're going to lie on your stomach. We're going to engage your butt muscles that will support the pain on the side of your hip without the good strength. Then you have more inflammation in that area. Lower your head down. We're going to start bending your knee, lifting your foot up. Inhale, turn your head to the right as you bend your right. Exhale down and then twist to the other side and down. So every time you bend, you turn your head, example, Bending my right, I'm turning my head to the right. And then as I bend my left, I'm turning my head to the left. I'm going to do seven more to go. 
six, five, four, three, two, and then one. And now we're gonna bend both legs at the same time. So curl both, keeping your head point, looking down on the mat as you breathe in, breathe out as you go down. Nine more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're going to isolate your glutes more with your leg extended. Keep your knees straight and lift. Start with your right leg first. That's your bad side, as I said. Do an extra set of 10, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one, and then switch your other side. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And we are progressing by bending this time your leg again, toes pointing away with your knee bent. We're going to lift the knee off the mat so keeping your knee bent lift your knee off the mat as much as you can you're gonna feel a little bit difficult for those with tight hip and weak glutes and try your best mind body awareness squeeze your glutes if you can't do this yet you can do this with your knee bent straight first until you can really lift with your knee bent six more five four Three, two, last one, and one. Now we we'll switch to the other side. Bend your left foot knee and lift your knee off the mat. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to your left side this time. We're going to target your left side of the glutes. Even the good side is good to strengthen. If there's a lot of pain on your right side of your hip, you can place a pillow for support so you're not hurting if your mat is too firm. So with your knees slightly bent to 45 degrees, we're going to start with clamshell first. Press your head down on your arm and clamp, warming up your hip. Keep your core engaged. Try to keep your spine in neutral in position. Try not, lead, not to lean back. Place your hand in front of you for support. And then down. Nine more. Don't forget your breath work. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And now we're going to lift the back foot. Reverse clam. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're going to lift the knee and foot at the same time. Parallel clamp. Making sure your foot is not too high. Keeping, making sure they're leveled with the lower knee and foot. And down. Try to lean forward, not to lean back. As you lift. Seven more. Don't forget your breath work. Six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Now with your leg extended, you're going to lift it up. Ten, nine, side leg lift. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. We're almost done. Two, and one. And now we're cooling down now from gentle glute stretching. Lie on your back, figure four stretch. Place the opposite foot. So I'm starting with my right. So my foot is resting on the thigh for a figure four. I'm pressing my knee out. You're gonna feel that deep stretch where you have the ache as you open up or your hip groin area, wherever you have the inflammation. And then pull your knee towards your chest as you breathe out. Inhale, open. Exhale, pull. Two more. 
last one. Now let's switch to the other side, figure four. Press your knee out, and then in, out, and in. Two more. Last one. Now place your feet together and lift it up with your feet facing each other. You're gonna pull it towards you for a butterfly stretch. Breathe in, breathe out. And then rock side to side. One, circles if you like. Feels so good on your hip groin area. Grab your big toes with your hands, lift your feet up, facing up to the heavens for a happy baby pose and then rock side to side. Inhale and exhale. Now we're gonna do a lovely hero pose in lying on your back. Place one foot over the other side of your hip and then grab your other foot. Now your knees are together in the middle and then lower your knees down and feel that stretch. If you can't reach for your feet, that's fine. With your knees, trying your best to touch the mat, you're gonna feel a deep stretch on the side of your hip where you have the inflammation and hold this in two deep breaths. And then lift it up. Now we're gonna switch. This time my left foot over my right hip. So now I'm gonna lower it down for a deep stretch. Inhale, exhale. You might find one side tighter than the other. And that's it. I'm hoping you enjoyed the sideline hip pain relief progression. Make sure you watch my first two videos where I discuss the anatomy and physiology, why your hip pain is happening while you're side sleeping and why you need to strengthen your glutes. And then the second progression with elastic band, check out over here before proceeding with the ankle weights because the ankle weights is a little bit more difficult to control than the elastic band for mind-body awareness and it's also an open kinematic. So follow along with this journey together as we have more videos coming up in the next two days. I'll be showing you more glutes activating hip pain relief utilizing Pilates and yoga for the next few weeks. We're gonna progress more as we progress gently and effectively with my core back immersion. And if you're interested to join my back masterclass, I'll be reopening on January 1st, 2023. And there's gonna be an early bird wait list for those who wanna be part of it before I open to the public because it's a small intimate class. Click on the description below, write down your name and email address so you get, get the direct email access before the public on December 31st. I'll see you inside the class. Don't forget, watch this video first about hip pain and side lying, and then this one with the elastic band. Until my next video training, always remember, be safe, be well, and healthy you.